Is your headset muted? Technical difficulties. All right. The math well, is we'll, going. We'll, we'll provide the words for you. I'll write some equations right. and stream I push him into way. the gate. Okay. I take off my clothes and I open the door. <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit! Ranging, you've been here the whole time! That was amazing! <laughs> Uh, what do you guys want to do? Well, I think we've thoroughly explored the uh, pasture, right? And besides, it's boring here. Oh, we, the so, only other thing you noticed is, uh, I think it was, uh... Rocco? I can't remember who had one of... The, somebody had one of the Minotaur horns, and they walked out of the pasture, and it disintegrated. Oh, it was Blocka. Okay. And so Gilly tossed the other one. Decided it wasn't worth it. Right. We'll be one key short of the very measure. <laughs> right. Oh, let's see. Well, I think we've kind of reached the end of this sort of hallway. There's nothing in those other rooms. So I guess we just kind of go back out and explore some more hallways. Uh, maybe I missed this, but what? there was two skulls in there. Did we figure out what the other one did? They both did the same thing. Oh, they both summoned? They both summoned the Minotaur, yeah. Yes. Okay. So now the skulls do nothing? Or did they disappear? Well, the they're dis they disintegrated. Yeah, okay. we mm -hmm. destroyed them. All right, I'm going to continue scouting, I guess. Kind of hang behind you. While we're here, should we test the ivory key and the ivory door just to... Dare you try to make us figure this out? Obviously, let's save it as a surprise. Just to, just to figure out if that's what that is. Sure. I'll wait here. Sounds like you're good. Who's testing that's the key? Right. Yeah, it's right next to us. Who's got the key? I think it's in the party sheet, to be honest. Yeah, but it was... Wasn't it Terran that had a hold of it? Didn't it's marked. Uh, no. it, let's see, the ivory key? Meridian has no. it. I'll take it, but no, oh, I... Marin, never that's right, Meridian was... Stuff. <laughs> According to the party sheet, Meridian has yep. it. Okay. Has I'll it. hand it off to someone who's going to go check the door. Don't everybody it's volunteer key, at once. right? Here, I'll grab it. I'll, I'll, okay. I'll grab door's it. Right, the door's right there. Okay, yeah. so Taryn has it then. Okay. Okay. I'll go, I'll go stick it in this keyhole. It fits. Right here. Right here. Yay. Lock the door. Okay, you lock That's the door. Fair. And what okay, color so was the key in the room we just locked? Wasn't it a silver key? Silver. It was a silver key, yeah. Okay. That is correct. Maybe we need to go the silver way. So the gold way. First, we gotta why, find why would you do the barred door. We've barely got anything accomplished on this. Okay, so uh, Marinian, you're looking down yes. uh, up this long hallway. Uh, you see yes. where the torch is. Obviously, there's a little alcove, and I think you can see that there's a door there. Uh, yes. You can actually see beyond where it seems to end here okay yeah uh unfortunately the way line of sight works i can't show it's you okay. what's beyond there but there is more more hallway with okay. no no features other than there's a torch at the end and then the hallway seems to veer off to the uh east and i'm underneath the the uh torch right now yeah yeah now. okay yeah. And is this to the left of me? Is that another door? Yes. In addition to the one to the north? Uh, no, is there's not the another... There, You don't see another door to the north. The, the door I was talking about was the one you see right now. 
Is it locked? Uh, I do not believe so, but let me double check. No, it's not. All right, Tell, you want to open it? Where's everyone else? Well, they're clustering back in the corner back there. I think they're a little flipped out about the Minotaur. Maybe. He can open the door. The door is unlocked. Yes. So let's carry on. Who opened it last time? Torkum, right? Rocco seems to be the one who opens doors. Yeah, let's Rocco, the door do opener? Yeah. All right. I disconnect. I'll be in a second. In the meantime, or in real life, I mean, I can I can open it from here if that makes that's easier. Mei Chan, then to forward. Are still. you opening the door with Mei Chan? Sure. Okay. There is while he's connecting. The door is open. All right, I'm back. So let's see. Tell you can see up the up uh, the stairway there. Uh, the stairs are blanketed by an exquisite calciite rug. Covered in geometric patterns and rich colors. The stairs rise about 10 feet from the bottom to the top. And uh, the ceiling is about 8 feet high. Alright. Can I. Like, I'm standing here, so I might just start heading in and kind of carefully investigating to see if I can find anything. That do you want? Quite fit. Do you want to go up or do you want to continue on? Open the door. Go know. for it. Go on, tell. Go up the stairs. What's the worst that could happen? Yeah, All I'll right. get you back. I'm behind you. Heading in, investigating as I go. Okay. Uh, is it give, just stairs? Give me a, yeah. give me, wait, 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 as you, give me an <laughs> investigation check since you're actively investigating. Okay. So, uh, when you get to where you are right now, You realize that your investigation was probably a, a little too hasty uh, because you realize that you are stuck and cannot move. Your feet are stuck to the floor. Uh, I have a question for you. Sure. Our illustrious DM. Yeah. Who is this Errol person with the. Uh, that's his homunculus. That's, up the hall? that's my homunculus. Uh, okay. Thought it was someone just showing up out of nowhere. Nope. Nope. And it's my bird. Um, so, I'm going to turn. See how this is going. Guys, wait. I'm stuck. Can't move. Stuck to the floor. Don't come up like, the like a mouse trap? So, as he yeah, says this, those of you at the at the base of the stairs and, uh, and tell, of course... See, right here next to him on the stairs, uh, the, the, the wall morphs into a mouth. Damn it. Which opens and says, laughter is the best medicine. Make me laugh. <laughs> oh, we've got the perfect guy for that. <laughs> Damn it. Pick the dark, bloody priest guy for drugs. Rocco, go tell him a joke. Uh, knock, knock. Who's there? My longsword. My longsword who? My longsword in your face if you don't let my friend go. Yeah, that's not funny. That's I got a good robot first. I got a good one, I got a good one. Gilly comes up, she hears it, and she goes, knock, knock. Who's there? Interrupting cow. Interrupting cow who? <laughs> okay. The, the mouth the mouth begins laughing 
and it's so hard that the 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 stone begins to shake and uh the the sovereign glue at your feet tell seems to just like shake loose and sink into the carpet that was terrible <laughs> should have done the orange and banana one yeah, but you're but you're loose now you are. You're loose now. That's and the, what's important. Well, and the wall was that. Was that an original joke? That's amazing. <laughs> <laughs> the wall morphs more uh, morphs back into a wall. All right. So, do we go to the up or each or person that goes up the stairs, or hopefully? <laughs> Can we explore the rest of this level first, please? Probably best. The way to go is towards the silver way. Well, what about up? Four Hall. Is this a dead end? No. That's a dead end. No, it's not. Oh, it goes. It continues way. on. Huh? It's because the stairs, the the upper level curves up above it, so oh. I have to I have to drag you through the wall to. Oh, okay. If oh, you it's wanna. like a bridge. Yeah. A bridge that you can't actually see. Or can you? No, you you wouldn't be Not able us. to. You wouldn't be able to know that it's there. So why don't they just make it a separate level? Because I made the map I one level. Stuff, I run into this stuff all the time with fantasy grounds where they have crossing levels, but it's a different level. Yeah, I don't like separating the map for something simple like that. So I didn't do it. Very, very bad person. I yeah. am. Let's go. All right, I'm going to continue cautiously going up the hall. Okay, so at the end of the hall there, you see uh, uh, basically a window which is protected by iron bars. Ooh, 50 feet south of that. So let's count 10 squares. Two, Is there a bar in it? Right south, just south of Errol should be a secret door. Okay. Right Billy in that area. Investigate these two bricks there. Hold on a second. See, so counted ten. I think that's right. Okay, so. While you're searching, uh, Tell finally spots a, a tiny little brick that he can push in. Hey! Can I go look while they're searching? Can I go look out the window? Sure. So, looking through the window, you see uh, the walls of the chamber are lined with red clay bricks. And there are seven circular metal platforms. Uh, that you can make out. Oh. Um, each of them are hanging from great iron chains, which are attached to the ceiling. And there is a floor, but it's 20 feet below where you are right now. And it oh. appears to be kind of hidden by a blanket of thick smoke, which you can't tell where the smoke is coming from, but it is coming from something. Okay. And, uh... Does it smell like fire? No. no. And Does it smell like lava? It smells like smoke. Um, and uh, That would be fire. And floating on the platform closest to you is uh, a, a sword. Oh. Mm-hmm. Which is appears to be dangling from a second chain, a, a, a copper chain. Huh. Uh, I'll go back to the guys. Okay. Hey, guys, guess what I found? And girl. Well, you're yeah, included. Fine. Uh, so check it out. There's there's a room with metal plates floating in the sky, and there's a sword hanging from. A chain. 
Ooh, let me see. I'll get out of the way. I see you found the secret door. We did. I'm not going in first. I don't want to stick mm. to anything. Looks like a fancy sword. I want that sword. Yeah, I'll, I'll peek in. Looks pretty here. cool. Okay, so the room that you entered through the secret door uh, contains racks of wine bottles that line the outer walls. Inscribed on the west wall is the words, Strength Cannot. I'm guessing these are all parts of phrases that we'll have to put together. That's what I was thinking. So, uh, where the hell my pen go? What was, what was the what was the words from the first room? This tool. Something. This tool with. Yeah, this tool with. And strength cannot. Uh oh, watch out. Matt's good? writing stuff down. <laughs> I'm taking notes inside Fantasy Grounds, so yes, I'm taking notes. I'm going to more closely investigate those wine bottles there. Okay. Uh, give me a perception check. Okay, so, oh, actually, give me a second one, Taryn. It should have been with advantage. Okay, yeah, so you see something behind these wine racks over here in the northwest corner. <clears throat> Kind of something. Uh, you can't tell. You need. You think you'd need to move the wine racks out of the way. All right. I will move the wine racks out of the way. Okay. So, uh, while you're doing that, Marinian's kind of just looking around the room, and you notice on these central wine racks, Marinian, uh, that most of these bottles are broken or empty. Um, and, uh, however, you do find, uh, five bottles of dark Omnish wine, uh, that you think might um, be worth... Um, a Omnish? Omnish, yes. And, uh, you think that they are so old that they have actually turned into, uh, what, what you think is probably alchemist fire. Oh, that's interesting effect. Usually they just turn into vinegar. <laughs> uh, I don't really want to keep all five on me, but so I'll hand one to uh, a couple to Gilly. Okay. You're okay. interested in this kind of stuff, Gilly, right? Oh, yes. Oh, yes. I can and use that. There are wine bottles filled with alchemist fire that used to be wine. So I'll go ahead and add those to the uh, party sheet. I'm pretty sure I can make something really nice with this. And uh, I'll well, give you three of them. Tell Tell is standing next to the stack of barrels, and he he realizes that uh, two of the barrels are empty, but one of them uh, contains not liquid but something that clinks. It's promising. Okay, can I investigate closely? Then? Sure. So how how are you going to do that? Are you just going to open the barrel? I'm going to try and inspect around where the barrel would open to make sure there's nothing that's going to explode in my face when I do. Okay. Give me a perception check. Okay, so you're pretty sure there's no trap, and you could just 
pull the the lid off. All right, then I'm gonna pull the lid off. Inside, you find two very dangerous copper coins. Okay, so while while they're searching, uh, Taryn is moving wine racks around, and making a lot of racket. But uh, once he get he moves them out of the way, he can see that behind the wine racks on the north wall uh, is a two foot high gold plated door, uh, which is locked and appears to have a slot. Probably a gold key somewhere. It's a bit. It, it's a bit big. It may be a really big key, but it's probably a slot about you know two or three inches tall. It's a really big key. You think would the silver silver key fit in it? No, the silver key is much smaller. You got any chance I could try and pick it? You can try. I will use my thieves tools. Okay. Nope. And in fact, when you stick your thieves tools in, you don't even feel anything for the like the tools to catch on. Nothing to grab hold. Almost of. like there's no tumblers or anything in there. Any chance it would fit two copper coins? <laughs> uh yeah, those would fit. Or at least one of them would. Alright. Somebody suggests that I'm going to go and put one of those couple coins in there and see what happens. Nothing uh. happens. They don't quite fit either. They're not, they're not quite the, like, they're, they're, they're too thin and, like, but two of them doesn't fit either. Can I grab a gold coin out of my pouch and try and put that in there instead? Uh, so the gold fo coin fits really well but it doesn't seem to do anything we're looking for uh, a, a specific coin. key or something we have to find well maybe maybe Taryn had the right of it we have to take the silver key over to the silver way and that may give us the gold key to come back and use it here yeah, I think we're looking... The coin was fit too perfectly. I think we're looking for a specific coin, though. I don't think it can be just any coin. But yeah, a good good chance that that silver key works somewhere down the silver corridor. You think so? Let's see if we can walk into the not-the-floor-is-lava room and um, see about that sword. Well, we got to get to it. There's bars across the window. We've got a big strapping guy with robot arms there that can probably rip those bars out. Oh, you think so? We'll give it a shot. It. Yeah, it's worth trying. The nearest thing is like 20 feet away, though. Can you jump 20 feet? Let's see if we can get the bars off. All right. I'll give the bars a tug. Okay. Give me a strength check. Can I, can I grab onto his waist and give him a bit of extra pull and power? Sure. You can do it with advantage. Uh, I'm not sure if that will help him. Grabbing him around the waist like that. I mean, everybody likes, likes a nice hug. Okay, so you, 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 <laughs> you pull really, really hard and nothing happens. Must have been drinking. It's pretty solid. All right, so we got a secret door that we can't open in this room, but we need a gold key, probably. So do you want to go back sure. down the silver way? We've got the silver key. Well, from what I can see looking yeah, in here, does it look like there's any other it. access point to this room that I can see from here, like another doorway? Um, I don't think you can see it. With your the your range of vision, but you do notice that the the table or the not tables, but the uh, the platforms seem to be 
curving back towards the southern wall. Like they curve towards the north and then they... But yeah, he can't see all the way to the other end. However, Tell Tell can see the door. (laughs) There's a door or is it another barred window? No, he sees a door. There's a door on the door. I think we'd have to go around through the silver way to get to that. What do, you, what do you want to do? Do you want to do the stairs? Do you want to do the silver way? I want to find the way to that room to get that sword. That's what Rocco wants to do. Okay. Let's go to the silver way, see if we can get whatever gold thing, see if we can get to that okay. room, and then we can go up the stairs last, I suppose. Start dragging. Before we leave through. here, I'll, I will do. I'll do a quick once over of the other barrels and wine racks and stuff before I leave this room. Okay, you won't find anything. Okay. Okay. Oh, what happened there? Oh, there we go. Now I'm curious if there's a trap ran about. I don't know, five, ten, fifteen, twenty, twenty-five-ish feet up from where we are. Just curious. There might be a trap there. You think? I just, yeah, there's a dead body sitting there, so. Eh. Okay. Where's everyone else? I have little legs. <laughs> first rule, first rule of horror movies, never So you can jump onto my shoulders if you need. Yeah, I'm trying to control my character and Errol, so we're good. I'm on your shoulders, but. <laughs> Okay. Okay, so Rocco, as you step closer to this skeleton, I like how he stepped back. Uh, <laughs> the, the DM starts ta- started talking. Quick, go back. Uh, you notice that it's not actually a skeleton, but it is a relief built into the wall to look like a, a sculpture of a human skeleton sitting against the wall with his arms outstretched. And his mouth is open as if screaming. He just he wants to hug. Into the wall. Yeah, he's built into the wall. And it's not a real ske- a skeleton. As far as you can tell. We passed this mural. Has anything changed about it? Or is it still exactly the same? Exactly the same. But that's a good question. You want to try that door there, Rocco? All right. Well, I'm kind of interested in the skeleton now. I'm going to inch forward a little bit, trying to, as best I can, look out for anything. Okay. Dream at it. Give me a perception check, since you're looking out for things. Anything? Mm, nope, you didn't see anything. All right, uh, well, I will come to this door. Uh-huh. And I'll just try to see if it's unlocked. It appears to be unlocked. All right, so I'll turn back and tell everyone. This door appears to be open. I will slowly open the door. Okay. He's lying down that cord. Kick it in. Pop. So, okay. uh, you see uh, the corridor has uh, walls of dressed stone. There's thick cobwebs that seem to be covering everything. And there's an open pit blocking the way. Uh, it's about 10 feet deep and 20 feet long. And the line, the, the bottom of the pit is lined with jagged, menacing spikes. So is this a stone floor, stone walls? Yes. Wow. Okay. What do you guys think? Does it have... Is it pretty smooth, or does it have grooves, like someone could kind of 
hang on to it and try to make their way over? Mm, you think that you could probably climb. It might be a little bit challenging, but you think you could probably climb. Hmm. I think that in the case of this place, everything is a puzzle to be solved. So skipping seems like we don't think it, probably not our best bet. This is a, maybe we just peek and see what these it's in the other door just to see what our options are. All right, I will walk north towards the other door, but slowly trying to look out for anything. That skeleton is not going to scream as soon as you get in line with it, right? Yeah, but... <laughs> so again, I'll test to see if it's locked. Okay. Uh, tell when you get close to this skeleton, you notice that there's a button on his forehead. I hate Tell's passive perception, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> I was just expecting to start like screaming at me. Level. The second guy. <laughs> Alright, so I'm going to investigate further and see if I can discern anything else about it before I touch the button. Uh, it appears to be made of iron, and it's made to be hidden. Is this skeleton brushed? Is it what? Brushed. Brushed? Brushed, like brushed like a can. Uh you know, smashed. Like oh, no, up. it's it's, really it's actually a it's not even really a skeleton. It is it's part of like a a wall fresco. It is it's like it's like a it's a sculpture made to look like a skeleton built into the wall. Oh, I'm sorry. I missed that earlier, I guess. That's okay. Or didn't connect it with this. Okay. I feel like we've I feel like I've got to touch the button now. Like, you know, curiosity is going to get the better of me. Maybe like you see a button. I, yeah. to... I can touch it from a distance, but I, I, I like your. Rocco, uh, but the door is unlocked, by the way. Since you tested right, the door. I will if you don't want to touch it, it. I'll, I'll, I can do it. But if you, if you want to, go for it. I'm, I'm slowly yeah, like, I, I like so if anybody it. wanted Ooh. to maybe stop me Ooh, before I do it. Pretty like, lights. Slowly going. Okay, so Rocco opened no, the door. Down. Uh, the stone walls of this hallway are decorated with colorful frescoes depicting a skyscape filled with all manner of flying creatures, from bumblebees to rocks. The, the ceiling is 20 feet high. About 15 feet above the floor, a row of short copper rods protrudes from either wall, and lightning arcs between these rods the entire length of the corridor. Wow. Up about 15 right. feet. So do There's we want a dangerous lightning. spike pit below or a bunch of um, lightning above? Yeah, Rocco, I'm not sure I'd go in there if I was you. Doesn't are, doesn't lightning go to metal? Yeah, I mean, I'm sure we're all wearing some kind of metal. I'm not wearing much metal. If you're saying anything, I don't Meanwhile, think you're anything Tell right. is like rubbing his fingers together. Like, he might be muted Sorry. or something. Ooh. Grim. I've seen him. I've seen him talking, but hearing no sounds. Yeah, you're you're no. muted or something, Grim. Can you hear me now? Yeah. There you go. Hey, oh, there you it just go. wasn't all the way down. Oh. I had so many witty things in there. Oh, sure you did. <laughs> <laughs> the world will just have to. <laughs> The world I'll make up know. for it in the second half. Here we go. Uh, he told like four dad jokes back when we were on the stage. I stairs. have very many prepared. No one listened. All right. Um, All right so, what would you guys find out about that skeleton? The are you pushing it? Pushed it. He pushed, pushed it. the button. Okay, so as he pushes the button, the skeleton screams, ah! super loud, and a door opens right behind Meridian. Ah. Ooh. Wow. It's interesting. Yeah. Um, maybe it's a way around the death trap of lightning or the death trap of spiked pits. Let's what do you out. think? 
It's just another death trap of some other kind. A different kind of death trap, yeah. <laughs> I mean, any of those death traps could just be illusion too, so... I think these are all, like sure. I said, puzzles to figure out. Yeah, maybe. Let's at least find out value. what's in this door. I mean, yeah, let's find what's in the door. hidden for a reason. So, weren't we looking for the entrance to that uh, chamber? Yeah, which would not be to the the south it, or east. It would be sure, to yeah, the this, north, this which is where this one goes. Direction. Let's hope. There's a door at the end here. I'm assuming I can see it. What do you guys want to do? Yeah, I'm just going to kind of walk forward. Well, I think the secret room. Not is choose the lightning room. room. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I think secret doors tend to be the. You guys the understand door. that the lightning is 15 feet above the ground, right? Yes. Okay. I mean, so, yeah, we're more worried about so, yeah, walking yeah, in and then it, we connect it to yeah. the ground. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Try the door. Huh. What are you doing, Dave? Okay. Uh, I'm going to check the door and see if it's locked. It is not locked. All right, I'll step aside and make room for Rocco. Let's make Rocco open the doors. Yeah. Rocco is our, is our door, door opener. opener. <laughs> I will, uh, open the door okay go this ahead title. so you can tell that at one time this room was exquisitely luxurious but it, is, it has fallen into disrepair uh even so the overstuffed couches appear very comfortable and the carpet has obviously been cared for even though there's an obvious travel path worn into it uh there is a a door to the east and that's about it and where does the path go uh it leads from the northern door and then follows this kind of like worn path in the in the uh oh is that what those brown marks are yeah right, i'm just gonna walk in a couple steps and so does it look like this room has like been tossed around? Like there's a struggle, or is it just? Um. Uh, well, the 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 desk is definitely broken, and uh, the 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 chairs they're still they still look comfortable, but they uh, they look like they've um, they were maybe in some sort of scuffle, and uh, the wall does appear like somebody hit it or something and it, there's like a bunch of brick and stuff that has fallen down hmm. so there's some kind of fight of some kind in this room possibly uh so while once you guys step inside tell you actually hear uh, a faint voice coming from the door to your right to the to the east Alright, can I make out what it's saying? By listening uh, to the you think it says, entertain me. Entertain me, okay. Not real good at that. Who's the entertainer here? Oh, he actually, oh, Grim's got, look at that, he's run away. He's telling me that's all about his great. He had all the jokes prepared, this. yeah. Yeah, well, he's is. gone. Play for it. Play what? Whatever your instrument of choice happens to be. I don't have an a dice. You don't play dice? Are you guys back now? No. 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 Uh, it's uh, a rogue. That is hard. Who's got, uh, got a performance? Entertainment skills. I think I don't have the. I just assumed it would be you. They're talking to you. Just uh, no. show them what you got. <laughs> Literally not the character I'm playing. <laughs> There's no entertainment value here. That's not accidental. Yeah. Is this like uh, the um, first party I've been in that like... doesn't have a bard? Maybe. Holy, hell. Holy shit. There's always a bard. 
I would have rolled one, but I'm already playing one in the other game, so I thought it was a bit <laughs> confusing. So does it open, or is it... Am I not entertained? I mean, the I the door Rocco is closed humorous, currently. So. The door is closed sure. and locked? Uh, it's closed. I don't. I don't think it's locked. Can I try it? Sure. All right. Here so we go. the knob turns, but it doesn't open. Okay. Uh, is there a locking? No. Do you like a lock hole in the door that you could try and pick? No. It it, it feels like the door is stuck. No, oh, yeah, Rocco. Do a jig, dance or something, sing it a song. I can try. I don't have much of a singing voice. Do it. Sure. Give it a performance. This will be like karaoke night. So if, if, I, if I could turn back... I'll, I'll re sure. recite the Odyssey or something like that. Some epic poetry. So so you spend several minutes listening to uh, a Meridian recite, you know, uh, an epic poem, but the door doesn't appear to open. You want to try the lock? Or the, um, the vandal? Can, can I make a maybe a suggestion? Yeah. Uh, look, looking, the the room seems kind of trashed. Like people were fighting in here, maybe. Oh, you think so? I don't know. That's what it looks like, and the okay. thing saying entertain us. So I wonder if they're looking for a, like a fight. Oh, Rocco, hunt someone. It, Hmm. I love how everybody's all, uh, backing away real quick. Let's <laughs> 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 uh, just, just run like down the light. Or something. How about this door? Just Rocco's the most suggestible, so I think Rocco punched him when he'd probably just do it. Here, yeah, I'm gonna pick up, like, you know, this little broken ottoman or something, and then just kind of go, like, hey! And scratch it over my head. If, it's like, if it likes violence as a show, that I'm gonna attempt that. that. I can juggle. Does that help? You think? Probably only It'll be entertaining. Like or something like that. Something to be violent. Yeah, Meridian produces three knives and starts juggling them. Okay. Roll me another performance check. Can I do sleight of hand? Sure. So if you want the door to open... Right. <laughs> <laughs> Obviously, we want you to get stabbed. That's what the entertaining. Right. <laughs> That'll be entertaining. So Meridian is, you know, juggling his knives, but nothing seems to happen. Nor doesn't carry. All right, I'll stop after a minute or so. What about this northern door? Is there anything special about it? Mm, no. Is it locked? Yeah. No, it's unlocked. <laughs> Well, uh, same thing as the other one. What was that? Tell. Is there anything, anything special that it would tell walks near it? No. <laughs> All right, Rocco, I'll attempt to do a handstand. Tell walks up to the door. Suddenly, it's made of gold. No, I'm just kidding. I'm going to you, idiot. He's got the lightest touch. I'll try this door then and see what happens. Okay. It opens. Oh. Cool. Look, another hall. But this one's All green. Right. You wanna keep going? Hmm. Well this one probably has like treasure for it. Right? Yeah. Get it open. I'm sorry. Can the robot's handstand? It didn't Careful. Yeah, yeah, no. If I do a handstand and Fuck. then press it. No. Uh -uh. Can I, um, when he's doing the handstand, push him over? Just to see if that <laughs> makes the door it, open. Door doesn't open. Oh. The rest Maybe of us enjoy stick. it, though. <laughs> Smash. All right. Maybe there's a some sort of a chanty or something that we all know, and we can just all sing a chorus of it. Could be some some like some, tavern some, songs. Some old, some once, old standard, if, yeah. If once, if once was a man from Nantucket, like that one. Yeah, we all know that one. We've seen that. <laughs> all 
Alright, so. <laughs> what are you guys doing? I, we're unsure. <laughs> we're thinking. So, you know the door oh, is, God. you know the door is stuck, but it's unlocked. Gilly, Gilly goes up to her. Oh, we'll just push it open. Yeah, here, I'm just gonna... Oh, God, you guys ran off. Holy okay, shit. give me a strength check, uh, Rocco. Okay. Where'd you guys go? We support you your hips, so you get it. They're still in the room. Oh, my God. Come on, there's a giant hall out here that goes all the way north. Yeah, but Rock this one's got treasure in it, probably. Rocco's pushing Quit on the door. Around. There's a giant Okay, so there. Rocco pushes the door open. <laughs> Manages to get it unstuck. Inside, okay. you see... A solid bronze statue of the wizard Keelier. And you know it's Keelier because it says so at the statue's base. Um, and the statue appears to, to be looking uh, like almost over you. But as you step inside, his eyes like look right at you. Uh, That's not and on, on the wall, scrawled in common, is utter madness. Pure rubbish. It doesn't look like, like the, the words, other words the you've words seen. Utter magic, the words utter madness and pure rubbish, or is it utter madness and pure rubbish? Is it like, quote, utter madness? Is it those words, or is it just... <laughs> it doesn't, it it doesn't, it doesn't look like what you've seen before, like where there's words on the wall that are neatly printed. This is literally written in someone's hand, and it's written like that. I'm going to just sort of move to the other side see if the eyes keep following me. They do. Say, <laughs> hello. I'm going to say hi to the statue. Okay. Okay, are you the wizard? I love how we spend half an hour entertaining the door. <laughs> it was clearly not the door. It was... <laughs> right. I guess other than the eyes moving, does the statue make any other? Mm -mm. Now that he can see you, try juggling again. I don't know. Do the eyes look human, or do they look stone, or do they just happen to be following? They look like stone, and they happen to be following you. Okay. After a moment, the the statue says, almost like it's it's getting bored. It says, "Well, do you have a riddle for me?" The statue's mm. bored of us? Apparently. So, <laughs> what's well, black and white and red all over? The statue doesn't seem to respond. It's a newspaper. Marco's like, huh? 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 You thought my joke was bad. Jeez. All right, you you guys got a riddle? Anybody? I'm trying to think of one. I mean, I got one. I don't okay, know give if her. Rocco's got riddles, but you ready? Go ahead. Or do we want to do this or not? Yeah, do give it. her. Uh, let me think. I speak without a mouth and hear without ears. I have no body, but I'm alive with wind. What am I? Does he say anything? Mm-mm. You think I can answer the damn question? It's a good riddle. Tip the statue over. And Gilly walks up. <laughs> I kick him in the shin. Hey, pay attention. Let's not antagonize the statue of the creator of this I have, a, I have a riddle for you. You didn't even answer it. Do you want to know the answer? Just staring. All right, never mind. Think about it. 
Yeah. All right. Uh, I guess you didn't North, do well in the yeah. painting or the riddling. Okay, hold up. Everybody, because something's happening. Uh -oh. I'm just trying to get back in. It just dropped on me for some reason. Okay. happening uh, i'm setting it up just one second oh okay the whole place goes pitch dark and that's what's happening <laughs> <laughs> the minotaur growls in the distance right it's exactly what happened <laughs> you killed my brother Where? name is amigo montoya <laughs> yeah, this is gonna do that. <laughs> okay. So, uh, while you guys are playing with the statue, some things are showing up. And they come running in one at a time. But we are rolling for initiative as they come in to attack you. And I'm not sure you guys have ever seen something quite like these. But these little guys come running in and they are not looking friendly. I think we got everybody. All right. All right. That was my bad. I just see the one right now. I guess. Yep. There's another one coming in. And First time we roll initiative is when I know I don't have sirens capable. So. I'm gonna move everybody so they're at least in a in a square. He runs up to Marinian. Swings his fists at him, but nothing, nothing seems to. Uh, it doesn't seem to connect with Marinian. Uh, Gilly, you see a, two of them there, but you can hear more of them coming from the hall. They're they're not quiet. I um. I'll go after Boggle too, since I can see him. I will shoot it. Nah, I'll throw a uh, nether sphere at it. Okay. I got a lot of these. Nice. I will tell Errol, attack it! Okay. So, technically, I think Arrow goes right after you, which is yep. good, because he's in the order. So you want him to attack it? Yeah. What the heck? Hold on a second. Yeah, there. No. He's going to use... I'm going to have him use his... Uh, oh, the force strike? Force strike, yeah. Okay, so attack him from where he is. Yeah. And he's going to... Oh, yeah, you can do it. I was just rolling for him. I'm so used to it. Well, I'll let you roll it. Oh, okay. Yeah, go for it. So Gotta used to sure controlling NPCs that... Ooh. There we go. That's better. There you go. Tiny little <sighs> bit of damage. Just... Flaps her wings together and this force comes out. <laughs> okay. Twerk him. Just walk up. 
Stick the one that got hurt. Okay. Nope, I won't. You got an inspiration, so. Uh, Terrence. We'll save it. I only have one. <laughs> okay. Let's see, that's what I'm going to do. Look, no, it's not. I'm going to move there. And we hear, we hear others coming down the hall, mm -hmm. right? All right. Torque, I hope you have a decent number of hit points. I'm going to center it on a point I can see, which is going to be right there. I'm going to cast <laughs> Sleep. So 20 foot out from that. Okay. Let me just draw that really quick then. Oops. That's a cone. So that's, so it's oh. going to include, it's going to include Torkum because he ran into my the spot, but hopefully he's got more hit points than Boggle. Uh, okay. Go ahead and roll close. your whatever. <laughs> it's a bunch of D8s, isn't it? Yep. Five. Yeah, five. Five. Maybe? It starts affecting them in reverse order of hit points. Right. Yeah. Like that guy will go down and then probably. Ooh, oh, God. Holy shit. Nice roll. Damn. <laughs> roll lower next time. Okay, let's see. Probably I don't know how many hit points these things have. One's heavy. It got hit for like 15 and it's heavy, yeah. so. It might be him and me. Less, less than you, Find hopefully. Out. Well, yeah. Oh, wait, hold on. Yeah. Taking a from where the Torkum goes down. Uh, Torkum, you have more than nine hit points, right? Yep. Okay. So the two you can see both fall asleep. Oh, nice. I must have just made the total. As long as you have more than nine hit points, you didn't fall asleep. That was what was left. Nice. Nice. Okay, Boggle 2 is asleep. So how many of these, did we hear any fall down in the hall? No. Rocco, what do you want to do? Uh, which direction, north or south, do we hear them coming, or is it both? North. I'm not sure what's going on. There's like going there. Do I see any? Uh, not from there. If you step through the doorway, you will. My feet. They were just outside of it, of his circle. All right. Well, I'm out of the. Can't get close enough for the sword, so I will. Just need to hear that. I will shoot uh, Boggle One with my crossbow. Okay. All right. All right. <clears throat> I'm gonna look very menacingly at it. Okay. Go ahead and end your turn then. See who's next. next. Uh, oh, no, there we go. Okay, uh, Boggle 1 charges at you. And... Tries to pummel you with his little fists. And misses. Boggle 3 is going to charge down here and do the same. Okay, he manages to hit you. For zero hit points. Nice. <laughs> I just, I just Marinian. 
Um, Meridian is going to get off to the side of the door here. These guys, this one's asleep, right? The two in front. Yeah, of us, the two you? in front. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I am going to move to there, and if someone, if a boggle comes through, a little over. If a boggle comes well, through I want to keep you in the squares. That's why. Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, if a boggle comes through the door, I'm going to uh, skewer it with my rapier. Okay. Gotcha. And then I, I am complete. Okay, tell. Uh, zombies haven't seen anything, but I've heard stuff, so... So, you see two boggles on the ground to sleep, and then you probably see two more through the door. Okay. Two through the door are awake. Yes. Yeah, they just attacked. I can't see the circles. Is it really injured? No. through the door with my face at this one. You hit. Right, I got one if it tries to slip past you. Okay, Boggle 4 is asleep. Gilly. Uh, seeing my main target fall asleep, I will go ahead and change my focus and toss another spear. change targets okay and so arrow will go over to boggle one with her force <laughs> miss this time and that's our turn um can i move through like, can I get to here? Sure. Is that okay, moving through Ally Squares? Yeah. Okay, I didn't know if it would be too congested or... Nah, you've got enough good. movement, you can get there. Okay. So I'll go 5 to D, shank it up there. And I assume that's all my movement, that's difficult terrain. Yeah, with the difficult terrain to do it, yeah. Okay, and then I'll stick, try and stick this one. Oh, I thought about the two. Okay, Taryn. Alright, I'll just take a quick fireball shot at this one. Okay. Time for damage. I'm gonna use my movement to actually go back into the hallway and I just I want to like just looking at the statue does it look different does it appear to be entertained no <laughs> well yeah. while they're fighting I'm just gonna I'm gonna kind of be watching the statue okay uh let's see boggle 2 is asleep still Rocco All right, I'm going to attack number one with my sword. Seeing that it's injured, I'm going to try to kill it off. I'm going to re-roll that. Okay. Oh, that's a good roll. 
<laughs> One extreme to the other. Okay, that buggle is dead. Alright, I am not gonna move. I'm just gonna stay here. Okay. That's where the fight is. Okay. Most of the bubbles have un uncanny smell. Do they have really good sense of smell, or they smell horrible? <laughs> they have, they, they have advantage on perception checks made for smell. They have really good smell, but they don't necessarily smell good. <laughs> uh, okay, so this boggle tries to hit Rocco again. And misses. Get inspiration back. No, you don't get it back. Can I roll a twenty? <laughs> On your inspiration roll. Get it, uh, yeah. That would be nice, but no. Uh, Marinian. Marinian is um, staying out of the way. Okay. Uh, once again, if they come through this door, I'm going to skewer it. Okay. Let's go out here I'm with fine. us. What's that? Come out here with us. Why? <laughs> this is where the party is. <laughs> There's dangerous things out there. Leave the cowardly rogue alone. Oh, sorry. <laughs> You're picking on him. <laughs> You're picking on me. Okay, go ahead and end your turn. You're holding okay. your holding your action to spear somebody. Uh, tell. That's correct. Okay. Um, I'm not I seem intelligent enough to intimidate into stopping. So we can question them. I'm going to give it a go. So I'm going to try and do this so that uh, Talkum and Rocco can't see. I'm going to undo my mask. I'm going to like show it my face and be like. You know, oh god, no. Oh, no. So you're trying to intimidate? Intimidate him to stop him fighting so we can question him. Okay, roll me an intimidate. Okay, the boggle. Uh. Let's see. The Boggle screams in horror. Uh, and he turns to the wall behind him and begins, like, furiously scratching at it. Is he frightened? He is frightened. I suppose the question is, do either of the other two see my face? Uh... Perception's not my wheel host. I'll say, I'll say yeah. no, just Oh, it fun. is! I, it's not terrible. Okay, I have an okay perception. I'll just say they didn't see it, because it's more fun that way. Go ahead and end your turn, Tel. Like, what's this guy's problem? Okay, this boggle's still asleep. Gilly. Um, I don't have a good beat on that one, so I will just move over to this side to get it better. And that one's frightened. Boggle three, I mean. Uh, Never would near us. Yeah. I mean, I yeah. could put the frightened effect on him if you want. Nah, nah, we're good. See, my last two didn't work this time. This time, I'll pull out my pistol and fire at that one. Right through the neck. Yeah. 
Okay. And Arrow direct her to attack Foggle 3. Okay. As well. Since her last target was gone. She's not within range. She'll have to move up a little bit. Yep. yep. I saw that as soon as I marked it. Okay. She'll fly forward. And miss. Oh, miss. There we go. And those are our turns. Okay. Torque him. I'll attack it. Okay. That it. <laughs> and he's dead. It's the most powerful thing you've killed. Oh, why didn't it say that? Okay, and then I will go back in the room. These ones are both asleep. Right? Yes. Almost stabbed you. <laughs> we felt it. Okay, I'll go here. You gotta be specific on that whole action, right? Uh. <laughs> okay, I mean, I guess we need to wake one of them. So I <laughs> well, took gonna, this I'm feat on character them. creation and have it. So I'm gonna hit him with the butt end of my. Screen. Oh, holy yeah. shit. Yeah. Okay, I'm not. I'll let one of you guys wake him up. He's sleeping. Oh, he rolled over. He's like, <laughs> damn it! <laughs> Just a little... Eh. <laughs> oh, gross. Little, little party note. Never send Torkum in to do coup de grace. Yeah. Glad I... Yeah. Uh, Santa, took five minutes to code that So, in there. Taryn, you never saw the, the statue do anything special. I'm still gonna keep watching it. I'm gonna, I'll actually take an action to study it because I hadn't really had a chance to look at it. Okay. So we're out of combat for now because nobody's like these guys are asleep. Oh, he says that after I. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's how, how Unless you guys want to kill them, though. I assume That's you guys. Are, you're oh, you're gonna kill them. I mean, I was I was gonna attack the one right by me. You can if you want. I mean, just roll an attack and roll damage. It's probably going to die. Is he considered prone, I guess, because he's sleeping? He, You'll have advantage yeah, automatically. Yeah, that's why I had advantage. Yeah. He's, he's unconscious, he's so. Yeah, while, he's, while the robot's be... just killing him. Ooh, another 20. Ooh. So you have advantage of that or no, because there's advantage? No, because he had advantage, yeah. Gosh. I know. I feel like you're making up these that's rules so as we go And along. it would have been a crit anyway. <laughs> Well, you have advantage, and then if you do, if you hit, it's automatically a crit. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you didn't have to roll a twenty. You just Somebody did. knows the rules. I'm just trying to find ways to get inspiration. <laughs> so can I tie this other boggle up? Is that what we're doing? I've got a okay. net. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> let him use his net. Now it's at there least he's prone. Oh no. He's no, already no. used his net. Remember, he used his net to pull the, to pull the. Horn. The horn towards, or the 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 cow skull. Yeah, oh, yeah. I, I rolled it back up and put it in my pack. <laughs> yeah, wrap him up with the net. <laughs> yes. He's just rolling he around die? on the ground. How can he dodge? Because he rolled over in his sleep. Yeah. <laughs> Got a stupid defective net. <laughs> Nets are the worst. Right, Grim? Like a mummy. <laughs> and tie him up. Okay. So he's tied up. Yes. Is now a good time for a break? Yeah, now's a good time for a break. Sure. So you got him all uh, tied up. What do you want to do with him? Ask him questions. Keep it clean, Matt. <laughs> How do we get to that room with the sword? <laughs> yeah, why'd you come and attack us? Does he speak common? The boggle looks confused. 
ask you. Is he a humanoid or is he just like a creature? He's Fey. He is Fey. the same questions I ask him under common to save him. No. I mean, get Sylvan, that might be okay. Then Elvish. Okay. Okay, I have Elvis. Post. Somebody just kill this thing so we can go on. Jeez. No, don't kill him. Just stash him in the room with the statue and lock the just, door. You know, we can make him walk ahead of us down the wall so he can set off traps. All right, well, if we can't talk to him, just stash him in the room with the statue. <laughs> yeah. And pull the door shut. lives in there now? Apparently now he does. Oh. <laughs> I took my rope back. We are a merciful adventuring party. So me and the boggle in the room with the, the statue. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry about my friends. And I'm going to rifle through this stuff and see if I can find anything. Stone. Another key, perhaps? No. Nothing? Okay. Loose, loose stones and you know, mortar. Nothing in the desk, nothing in the chairs. No. There's always something in the chair cushions. Lint. <laughs> the TV remote. I don't find any topper pieces. Boggle sweat. Uh. Mm. All right, well, I'm going to start scouting again. Okay. You guys ready? Yeah, we're just leaving him in the statue room. I I, I guess that's the idea. I, I'm not sure. Well, Taryn is staying in the statue room or not. <laughs> Rocco, close. Pull the door closed so it's stuck. So. <laughs> He's just like I'm sorry. I mean, about I this. wouldn't. When I kind of inspected the statue, I didn't learn anything, right? Mm -mm. Just nothing new. Okay. He just kept looking at you. All right. You guys ready? Uh, yeah, I guess if we're just leaving them, let's go. Still leave one behind to tell the tale to his friends. Yep. Kind of assume that there's more to that statue, but... I don't know how he glistened that out. Yep. So you see five doors. Holy shit, five doors? Mm-hmm. Why would you do this to us? Any of them silver? <laughs> so indecisive. Uh, I don't think so. Let me check. I gotta look on check each. Out the first one. Uh... That door doesn't appear, you know, special in any way, other than above the door, there is a phrase written on, on the door frame, which says, take only what you can truly afford. Maybe. Oh, all right. Well, this place is littered with um, good advice. Bits of it, anyways. Things like this tool with. Um. The door just to the north on that same side doesn't have anything special about it. Um. You want to open this door, or? I'll listen at it. See if it's unlocked. Is that all one action? You can do those things together? Well, listen at it to see if it's unlocked. I mean, I can open it. I, wish the I don't particularly want to open it. I just want to see if it can be opened. It appears to be unlocked. I will all open right. it. Okay. Go ahead and open it. Oh, damn. I head in. 
Okay, so... The tokens as I was on my way in? Son of a bitch. No. You just ran into no, a wall, I think. <laughs> Did it again. Um, so this room appears to be filled to the brim with coins of all types. At a glance, you can easily determine that thousands of gold pieces are scattered across the room. Um... Uh, when, when, uh, let's see, Tell and, uh, Tor Torkum, who moved, moved inside, give me, uh, investigation or perception checks. You guys can choose. Tower? Yes. Okay, Tell, you notice that the piles are arranged in an intricate fashion. That said, that makes them spell out all fake. See, yeah, look at that. It says all fake. Uh, I think this might be an illusion, man. What? <clears throat> and I Scrooge McDuck. Shit. How much bludgeoning damage for jumping headfirst into the ground? The stone floor. So you think this is all fake? Well, that's what it spells out. Can't you see that? Look. <laughs> you waving your finger at it doesn't help me. And I will walk over here and I'll bend over and I'll try to pick up. You can pick one up. And it feels real? Mm-hmm. I'll flick it over to tell real enough to me tell are you catching it right. no okay so it, it you like dodge it and it fling when he flings it across the room you hear it hit the door fall on the ground appears to behave like a normal coin would again pick it up off the ground okay I'm going, to go in, I'm going to inspect it closely to see if maybe it's just that it's not really gold. No, it, it appears to be gold. I'm going to flick it out the door, the open door on the other side. Ow. The, you're going to flick it at Marinian? There's people standing over there. Yeah, ow. Well, past, oh, okay, past him. Short, over his head. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so it, it flies out into the hallway. And uh, hits the ground out there. Appears to sound like a coin. Falls down in between Marinian and Terran. Right, when do you want to check if that still looks the same? Or... I'll pick it up. Oh. You picked it up? Yep. It weighs a lot more than a normal coin does. You think it weighs about a pound. Wow. Oh, a lot of gold. That's so valuable. Or lead. <laughs> Otherwise, it seems like a normal gold coin. If I drop it, does it thud like, a, like it's super heavy? Like When it landed, it acted like a normal coin. Mm -hmm. It sounds Not like a normal point. coin when it hits the ground. It's odd. Oh, I see. So just going down and bending down, and I'll just run my hand through all the gold, and it just moves normally. Yeah. The coin that uh, Taryn dropped, I'm going to look at real quick. Okay. I already I rolled in the tower. It looks like a gold coin. Okay. I'm gonna have a look through this door while they're looking at all the gold. Okay. Tell's not particularly that crazy about gold anyway. It's not like he's driving. What's wrong with gold? Especially with fake gold, you can give it to someone. Alright. Okay, so you open the door. Uh, it's. the This rectangular room is featureless, except for. Uh, 
Black iron gates set into the southern wall. Okay, I'm very carefully going to walk forward while paying attention to my surroundings. Okay. Just waiting for the moment where you're like, stop! Okay, I'm going to investigate these gates. See How are you investigating them? Just observing them? For the moment, just look okay. at them. Just Give me a perception them. check then. They don't appear out of the ordinary other than there's, you know, black gates in the middle of the room. Or the southern wall, that is. There's nothing beyond them apart from the wall. Mm -mm. They appear like, I mean, is it a set of gates with a central point that you would open them from and they'd swing out? Like mm -hmm. it appears like, they're, the like there's doors that swing in towards you. Right. I'm going to try and move one of them out towards me. Okay, so when you grab the gate, uh, a mouth materializes on the wall over here. And says, beyond these gates lies paradise. Enter them as you entered life, and you may find it. Grasp the jewel and grasp the iron, then be whisked away to the truest of rewards. Grasp the jewel. That doesn't sound ominous. Is there, like, somewhere something should be put on these gates, or...? It doesn't appear to be. Would go in? Right, I'm just going to wander back into the other room and see if there's any kind of jewel that stands out as something that I might need to take through there. Something that... You don't see any jewels, it's just out. coins. Jewel might be on the other side of that gate. Maybe. Alright. I am going to ask Marinian to come with me. And just in case something happens, I'm going to tie my rope around my waist and give it to him like this hand. So if I get like, missed out somewhere. <laughs> I'm sure and put me back in, if I start yeah. screaming or something. I'll end up going with you is what's going to happen. I'm a little skinny guy. I'm actually not much bigger than you. I'm quite short for a human. Um, then I'm going to try and open the gates and walk through and see what happens. They do not open. It said you're supposed to be uh, as you were born or as you were brought into the world, so that means naked. Really? <laughs> Take that That's... goddess mask off. Get in the... <laughs> I just think, well, I'm not sure I'm the right character to be doing this. Isn't this so, something that Rangi would be better doing? Getting naked? It also said you gotta have the, the rod and the jewel, doesn't it? I'm sure the robot can get naked. Yeah. I thought the I'm robot sure was there. naked. I'm not sure the robot was born. I think you muted again, Rangi. It didn't say born, it said brought into the world. Mm. Didn't it? I was like, Ranji, you, 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 I think you're muted. Still muted. The other button, right? you, There you go. Nope. nope. <laughs> Your mic is muted, I think. No? You're not muted in Discord. Your actual headset. Is your headset muted? <laughs> Technical difficulties. All right. The math we'll, is we'll, going. <laughs> we'll provide the words for you. I'll write some equations right. and stream. I push him into way. the gate. Okay. 
I take off my clothes and I open the door. <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit! Brandy, you've been here the whole time! That was amazing! <laughs> <laughs> Sounded just like him. Whatever you do for a living, you should stop and just do impressions. Yeah. <laughs> Voice over. <laughs> Reggie's still trying to figure out why he can't can't say anything. Try leaving and rejoining maybe the Discord channel. You'll have to turn your camera back on, but That was pretty amazing. <laughs> Alright, so while we're waiting for uh, for him to come back and do his thing... Still can't no, hear still, you. Still not working. Something's muted. Maybe unplug your headset and plug it back in. I don't know. Let's just continue. Oh, wait. Oh, yeah. There he is. Yeah, unplug your headset. I think it's the fourth headset. It sounds like you're not on your headset. It sounds yeah, like you're on we're, your we're hearing microphone. you through something else. Yeah, I'm on the regular mic. Oh, okay. Anyway, I'll open the door. Okay, so... Uh, you nothing happens because you didn't you didn't take off any clothes or anything, did you? The only thing I'm wearing is the armor, but it's embedded into my body. Right. So nothing happens. Taking off, it actually takes like an hour. Uh, an hour? I don't know. I have to read it. it takes longer than normal. Um, oh, it does. But... Still, nothing happens when you try to open the door. I can barely hear you. Yeah, you're hard to hear. Uh oh, he's getting out the tools. <laughs> <laughs> now we're all screwed. He's going to build a new headset. <laughs> or he's going <laughs> using or he's a... plugging himself in yeah he's going to use a different headset and we still can't hear you he may not have said oh anything. wait there we go I heard him for a second nope can't hear you yeah like you moved something and we could hear you but then right. yeah like you touched it and your mic activated nope Whatever you're like touching is like yeah. when you move it, it it it, it activates. Hello. Yeah. There Yay. You know. Something's not connected know. all the way or something. You gotta put you your hand on the it. new. It's a different kind of push to talk now. It's yeah, right. <laughs> touch touch the camera to talk. Hold on, I gotta nudge my it's camera to talk. <laughs> yeah, he's gotta sit like that for the next hour and a half. We always find um, the weirdest uh, technical problems possible. He's done that. It hasn't happened. I don't know if it's going to work. We're going now. Can you hear? Yep, yeah, we can hear you. But we don't okay. see you. Yeah, I'm going to turn my camera back on. Okay. Uh, okay. You're going to have to sit with your hand on the camera for the next hour and a half? Yeah, this uh, is great stuff. <laughs> <laughs> Quality it's role play. It's entertaining. It's be great for the, the YouTube stream. Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll cut like another uh, thirty-minute chunk out of the middle here. Don't worry. <laughs> <laughs> the video will start. Well, it and it'll open. it'll play the music, and then he'll have his little clip where we're laughing, and then That's it'll right. be like like thirty seconds long. <laughs> Thanks for playing, guys. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So. Uh. Okay. All right. So. All right. Well, let's go back out in the hall. My is we need to find the jewel. That's my opinion. The jewel and the rod. Yeah. That sounds like those might be things past the door. We need somebody to go through without clothes. What rod? Did I mention a rod? The iron. The iron and it's iron, the iron bar or iron or whatever probably, it was. Probably the gate itself. It's probably the gate he's talking about. Think? 
Yeah, it is an iron gate. When the, when the others walk out, I'm gonna drop clothes and try and go through there. I just don't want them to watch me doing it. I just know the word rod was never said. That's all. No, oh, okay, that's fine. Yeah, it's so the 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 mouth said, "Beyond these gates lies paradise. Enter them as you entered life, and you may yet find it." Grasp the jewel and grasp the iron, then be whisked away to the truest of rewards. Oh, grasp the jewel and grasp the iron. Can I look through the uh, piles here and see if I can find a jewel? Sure. Yeah, I think we have already been. Uh, maybe it's a different kind of jewel. <laughs> Family jewels? Yeah, one, one, jewels one, one that's only well, easily yeah. available when you're naked. Yeah, I guess that's why you got to be naked. Can I so, talk to the mouth? Is the mouth still there? No, the mouth disappeared it's, once it's yeah. once it was done talking. So that's these coins, they they are not like regular coins. They weigh a pound a piece. Uh, only when they're out of that room. The oh, only time okay. anyone noticed that they weighed a, a lot is there's there's a coin that I believe is still just sitting out here that that yep. Wolf dropped and uh, yeah, but uh, I believe tell afford. I believe tells the one who threw it out there though. Yes. Yeah. It didn't feel heavy when I threw it out there. Though, did it? Right, it didn't feel any heavier to you than a normal coin would. All right, well, tell what are you doing? What's screwing around? I said as soon as you guys were out of the room, I was gonna drop naked and try and open the door. I just didn't oh. want you around for it. Yeah. Get out, Torkum. Torkum's really like standing at the door, looking, looking at me all like, ooh, like, dude, go away. No, I'm ready to go. Okay. I can open a pee anyway. So, oh, tell you're taking off all your clothes. <laughs> yeah. Randy's going yeah. there again. Yeah. Just crack the door a little bit, Randy. <laughs> I egg him on to do it. It always <laughs> ends up being Randy's character that stares at naked yeah. people. Hey, right? Mark really does not get around. Oh. Uh. He is made of metal and wood. Yep, so, yep, take it all off, including the mask. Okay. So absolutely everything, you're taking off shoes, underwear, clothes, armor, all your items are in a pile. If, if it's, yeah. Okay, yeah. and then you're going to do what? Try and open the gate? I suppose. Okay. Give me a wisdom gate. saving throw. Oh. You didn't grab your jewels. <laughs> you got a, you got a couple. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. Don't forget to cut the balls. <laughs> okay. Uh, so, you, you, you make the save as you feel like a spell was cast on you. Uh, a mouth appears on the other side over here and says, Comedy is the true paradise. Entertain me. And then you feel yourself disappearing. So, hold on a second. Say something funny. Literally not this character's forte. You should say something. Literally say something funny. Oh, he's already it's disappeared. Funny. It's okay. <laughs> I don't hear. That him always works. So, tell you appear about five feet in the air above uh, this area. I hope you can see yourself. Yeah. Okay. And you come crashing down on all the these objects, and you you find your I mean you're covered in like bits of melon and and uh, like uh, you know other vegetables and stuff are cracked and there's eggs and I mean you're you're just covered in head head to toe from like in in all these different products that you've crashed into. Okay. But you are naked. But naked. Yes. No mask on, so everybody can see. Yes. Although you're in, you're, I mean, you're in an alley, so for now you're okay. For now, 
Okay, so I'm gonna walk forward. Is there anything I can wrap around myself here, like a old cloth or something? I mean, you no, no, no old cloth. You might be able to use like a like a burlap sack, uh, or you could like cover your face in like mashed up tomato. I'm more help. worried about the. I'm more worried about the dangly bits hanging out anyway <laughs> than the. <laughs> okay. What do you got? A lot of skin tags. Uh. <laughs> That's it. I'm gonna try and like a make makeshift loin cloth or something out of some burlap sacks so that at least the. Uh, I mean, you could probably like push some armholes in a burlap sack, and it'll come down to you know. Mid thigh. Alright, I'm gonna do that before I go just anywhere don't, else. Just, just don't sit down on a chair. Yeah, just don't sit down. You'll be fine. <laughs> no, no, no Sharon Stone moments. Um, um, Alright, so I'm gonna wander down and see what I see this way. Yeah, I mean, you see the, the street. It's kind of busy. It's midday. Alright, well... Is he still in there screwing around? Come on, open the door. Now, you, when you guys open the door, you don't see anything. There's nobody there. No, uh -oh. is his stuff still there? There's a pile of armor There's and stuff. clothes and, and everything else there. Yeah, his clothes and stuff are there. He's been disintegrated. I guess he went to paradise. We still want him. Alas, poor Tell. We knew him well. Not really. Okay, tell. Yeah. What are you doing? Yeah. <laughs> um, like, wow. He took my life. Hold on, hold on, guys. What are you doing, tell? Hey, I'm at the end of the alley. Like, there's a lot of people. Is anybody paying any attention to me? I mean, there's people giving you some weird looks, but you know, I'm sure they've seen, you know, worse. It is, you know, it's it is water deep. There, there, there are homeless people who look worse than you. I mean, most people have, you know, that when they're covered in, like, bits of egg and smashed up, you know, vegetables, they, it's more like older vegetables. You were, you crashed into, into some stuff that wasn't quite rotten yet. So you smell okay, I mean, for the most part. Alright, well, okay. I'm going to try and work out where I am. I feel like going this way would be the best. Book. Well, I guess we should gra you should gather up his stuff. So when you walk by the book, you notice your name, and there's like a hash mark after it. Like a one. Yeah. A... Like okay, am I allowed to go Three. back faster than inside? Yeah. You don't seem to have any problem passing it. I'm just gonna go in here and get. Rocco, you want to grab up his out. stuff? Yeah, I just so I, I grabbed like up all the stuff there. and I came back out. Do so I feel like maybe I, I lost a life? Maybe I've got like three of those or something. Oh, you did have to push the 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 screaming skeleton skull to open the door again, but but it does open. Okay. <laughs> now I know why it's screaming. <clears throat> yeah, I mean his head is lower i mean he's sitting down so that's why he's screaming obviously he caught a glimpse of something below the edge of the burlap the burlap dress and then you guys see this crazy man you've never seen before wearing a burlap sack covered in <laughs> covered in bits of egg and vegetables and tomato what do you say when you run up tell I'll draw my sword. Also, I, 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 so I suppose I better, better actually explain what he looks like because there's nothing on his face right now. So right. What they're gonna see. Other so than you bits see of rotten a, fruit. You see like a, a human, but with like bright, well, basically white hair, um, very pale white skin, and with like three black claw marks right across his face, and no eyes except for red dots in the middle. Everything else is just black. So that's what's just walking up towards you right now. Okay. It's me. It's Tell. Tell. It's okay. You guys would recognize his voice at least. Yeah. Although he looks quite strange. Yes. 
but this creature. So who's so... got his stuff? What's the oh, name yeah. of the place that we just inherited? Troll Skull Manor? Are you sure? It's in... <laughs> Asking or are you <laughs> telling? I kind of forgot Troll Skull Manor. <laughs> <laughs> Been a couple of sessions since we were there. Trolls yes. Matter. Okay. All right, it's him, I think. So who's got his stuff? Or is it? I Rocco do. does. Oh, okay. Or is it an illusion? Like everything else in this damn. Spear him with your sword, and you'll see. Oh, he's definitely not real. <laughs> He didn't react to that. Just stab, stab me a yeah. few times, and uh, yeah, you'll see him real. So, I'm gonna kind of. Everyone else, I guess, seems convinced. I really am me. Please don't stab me. It's been a, it's been a trying last ten minutes. So where did you go? What happened to you? Uh, I'll, I'll, I'll drop his stuff, stuff on the floor. So okay. Can get it. Ended up, yeah. I start picking everything up and putting it all back on, and so I ended up in an alley. Um, so landed in so not, not quite paradise, I guess. Huh? No, another mouth appeared and said that uh, something like comedy is the best paradise, and I guess that I was the butt of the joke. So yeah, awesome. And then I had to walk through the street in this burlap sack. And, Come Sounds back like in this, uh, and there's now a mark against my name on the ledger. Sounds like this wizard's kind of a. You mean the sign in ledger? Yeah, I had to walk past it and there's like a mark right next to my name. Huh. Hmm. So as I'm doing this, I'm putting all my clothes back on. Them. Well, I well, guess we don't need to do that. Well, yeah, well, I, I guess. I mean, here I can. I, I Whoever made this place is. It's definitely got a sense of humor. Yeah. Whoever made this place thinks he's a comedian. He is obsessed with performing. That's the second unfunny joke. Alright, so don't go through that gate. Right? Yeah. Alright, so how about this next door? Can you guys hear me? Yeah. Yeah, yeah we're following. Yeah. Taryn, what are you doing? Are you staying in there? <laughs> oh, you're leaving too? Okay, so when everybody leaves, uh, a mouth appears on the wall here and says, Ah, oh, you passed the test. Or at least most of you did. <laughs> and uh, then he explains that those who took anything from the room that wasn't theirs uh are uh w w are uh not going to receive this which means uh tell and Taryn, because you guys were the two that interacted with the coin that ended up outside the room uh you are not going to receive a blessing however everyone else gets blessed Everyone else gets blessed for an hour. Oh, nice. Right. So, I'm going to do that. Didn't need your blessing anyway. I got to make it through the streets. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Oh, I, I accidentally blessed Tell. Yeah, just keep going. Doubling it down. <laughs> Gilly's double blessed. Nice. Oh, is Gilly Always. got it twice? Always. <laughs> I'll have to get it off him. I, I lost track of who I was blessing. Let's see. Where's Gilly? Way up at the top. Okay. Be pissing top. on my hopes and dreams. That's why she's able to kill those ice trolls. Ice golems. Golems. 
And Taryn's like, dang it, I just picked it up. And then dropped it yeah. right where I found it. <laughs> yeah, it was picked up by somebody else, but I'm not going right. to say who. What? I, I thought it was picked up by you. Me. You picked it up and it felt that it was it a was. pound. Right. Yeah. And I dropped it. I, I looked at it. I didn't... <laughs> It didn't start knuckle rolling it or anything. Yeah. Last thing it no, goes, yeah, Gilly, Gilly didn't, didn't do anything but look at it while it was on the ground. So can I go and flick it back into the room? You can, and yeah, you sure. Bless. <laughs> I think I will pass the mouth again and like, okay, okay. Didn't take well, Tell doesn't have a bless, so. Um. Yeah. But yeah, you can kick it back in the room. You're not going to get blessed for it, but yeah. You're welcome to. Well, didn't take anything now. <laughs> Doesn't work like that. But nice You're try. Are you with an inanimate object? Okay. Right, uh, so you're in between two doors. Which one are you? Which one are you opening? Listen. Look. Check you it don't out, see if it's locked. You don't hear anything. Neither one are locked. Rocco. I guess we'll do the one on the side. Which one are you opening there? I just opened the one on the uh, oh, okay. east, east side. Okay. So this room has a winding path of bright yellow tiles that lead from the western door to the northern one. Uh, the walls have been decorated with intensely detailed murals depicting Helmite your funer funerary uh, rituals as well as a dozen mages all holding the holy symbol of mistra hiding in the background so is the gray bit a wall or is it just a different color tile uh gray bit the like there's the yellow tiles and then there's like rock like some of the squares have like gray, like rocks. Um, I don't, I don't see any gray rocks, but okay. Well, it's green. Oh, green. That's what I didn't know. Is this? There's like, well, there's like the normal way. blue stone on the floor, but on top of that, there are yellow stones that have a path. That okay, winds around the room. I gotta know if that was a wall that basically makes a winding path. Or no, it's not. Room. Not a, there's no walls other than the. Well, how outer. do we get in there? Uh, well, I'll just open this door, see what we see. We'll do that. Just oh, you're gonna open the other door too. Okay. Just to see if one looks better than the other. Okay. Uh, the walls of this chamber are lined with red cr clay bricks. At the far end is a what appears to be a deep pit. Has a diameter of about eight feet, and the room is quite hot and humid, and smells of ash. There is a red glow coming up from within the pit. Okay. You pick. You want to do the maze or do you want to do the uh, pit? I'm curious about the pit. Just want to like peek down it Just to see if I see. Go see up and I spit over the edge. I'm just going to kind of gingerly kind of walk close to it and see if I can kind of. It appears go. to be about 40 feet deep. And at the bottom, you see two creatures. Um, that look like, hold on. Mm, that's not working. Give me a second. They look like that. Oh, Oh, good. And but again, they're 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 forty feet down at the bottom of the pit, 
and in the at the bottom of the pit they appear to be wading in ankle deep ash. They're waiting. Talk, talk to them. Wait. Hello. <laughs> They, they, they don't answer. answer. <laughs> yeah, why not? Right, I'm just gonna kind of walk back out and say, just kind of describe what I saw, but I'm, I'm not interested in going down into the pit. Are you sure? Possibly. Then you can go if you want. No, thank you. I guess we'll try the uh, yellow towel maze. I'll walk in. Okay, so once you step inside, Rocco, you see right here on the wall, on the western wall, uh, another written message. It says, get through. So, hey guys, there's something else written on this wall. It says, get through. I don't know what that means. I didn't realize you were standing there, Tim. So, uh, it means I get through. I'm stuck, in a, I mean, I'm stuck in a door. Like, literally stuck in the door. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to walk forward a couple steps so I can let everyone else get in. Torkum, are you stepping off of the path there? Well, no, I I mean, I don't know if I will. I was just trying to let other people in the door so I okay. wasn't block. That's a yes. <laughs> Okay, yes, let's see what happens. <laughs> Are you really I'm stepping off? Nice. Are you no, really? I'm, okay. I wanted to move into the room, so... Okay. Does he end, does he end up butt naked in a pile of fucking strawberries? <laughs> no, that's just you, and it happens again. Time. I hope that happens again three more times. Yeah, I guess I'll just kind of slowly walk along this path. Okay. To this corner, and I'll wait for people to catch up. So I go off the path that time. Definitely ready to cut across. I didn't. Where's Gilly? Did we leave her behind? Nope. I'm coming. Uh, okay. Just wait until everybody barreled through. I'll say we would never leave a man behind. Yeah, not a man. I am no man. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'll uh, attempt to open the door. Mm. Is it unlocked? It is unlocked. Okay, so inside this room, all of the surfaces of the chamber are uh, appear to be made of mirrors, like one solid piece of mirror. Um, the walls, the floor, and the ceiling. In the middle of the room is a three-foot-tall statue of a rearing unicorn. Say we found the unicorn. You need to go and check it out. Get it. Uh, I'll take one step in. Kind of take it and kind of look around. Two steps see if back. Anything looks amiss or dangerous. So I'll give you a perception check. Okay. You do not see anything. Try opening your eyes next time. He got a one. Oh. <laughs> I was like, what are you talking about? <laughs> right, um, so I'm going to look down at the mirror. Is it showing a reflection? Like it's just a Yes, mirror? there are reflections within reflection because of all the, all the mirrors. Yeah. Every surface like you can see is... Thing. 
Every surface you can see is covered in mirror. And each one seems to be one solid mirror. There's no seams or anything like that. I will walk up to the statue. So it's like a pretty big statue. Uh, yeah, it's three feet tall. It's not big enough for someone to carry out. Um, I'm turn to tell and say, are we supposed to carry this thing out or what? It would probably so take it. two of you to lift it. Who else is strong here? I suppose I'm not weak, actually. Walk sure in the room, but I'm not super strong. So the statue of a unicorn? Mm-hmm. How big is this unicorn? It's a three-foot-tall statue. I don't know how big the unicorn was that was the subject of the, you know, when they sculpted well, it. Can I grasp the... Can I grab the horn? Sure. Is it solidly attached? Yes. Does it twist? No. Alright, um... Does it appear like it can be lifted, or does it appear... like this? doesn't appear to be attached to the floor in any way. Does it appear that what How much does... Marinians do the horn twisting it and doing that is weird and odd? <laughs> I'm gonna kind of, like, sort of... Alright. I guess I'll reach out and... How does that go? Put my hands on it and just kind of give it a small lift to kind of Oh, he's putting his hands on it now? Well, someone already did. They put their hands on the horn. That yeah. So what are you so doing, Rocco? Hands on it. I'm going to um, attempt to do a little lift just so I can try to gauge the weight and kind of guess what I think it weighs. You, you would guess it weighs a couple hundred pounds. It'd be, it would be possible for you to, like, lift it but like it would be awkward for you to carry by yourself, just because of its size. So tell's gonna help. I'll get out of the way. Well, yeah, me too. I mean, it in. probably is you. This will be like this will be like moving to a sofa. Help. Yeah. Just pivot. remember. Just remember whenever you need him to. Just remember to say pivot. <laughs> <laughs> Turn on its side. All right, go, guess, go uh, the right. No, no, the other right. <laughs> you're right. You're right. All right, Tell, I guess you're ready to lift this thing up. I'm going to yes. turn to Torque on and say, uh, let's be ready for whatever might happen. Take a step. In. I don't think they're just going to let us leave with this thing. Runs out of the room. Hides. Yeah, I'm ready. Yeah. yeah um. All right, here we go. I'll lift with my, lift are with you staying in there, Torkum, while they're lifting it? Or are you leaving like I... everybody else? No, I'll be nice. I'll stay in the room with them. I'm going to ready, like, I don't know, an Eldritch Blast or whatever. If some demonic thing crawls out of a pit that they were... Okay. Or, I don't know what's going to happen. Yeah, lift with your legs. <laughs> yeah. Don't, don't use your back. What's the matter with you? So they lift it up. Nothing happens when they lift it up. We'll head out. I shoot the Eldritch Plus. <laughs> okay, so they they begin moving the the statue towards the door, and the moment the statue fully uh, moves outside of the door, uh, Rocco, Tell, and the the statue are teleported back into the center of the room. And uh, they both, like, they fall to the ground because they're kind of, like, up in the center of the room. They fall that back down. The statue comes to rest on the, uh, on the ground again and kind of wobbles back into place. And the door slams shut uh, behind you. Oh, jeez. Uh, when, when, when Tell stands back up, he looks over and sees that the door has a message written on the back of it on the mirror. Which this re the this message doesn't reflect anywhere else in the room either. 
it says everything you see is mine and magic and uh, 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 oh wait it just says yeah uh, everything you see is mine that's all it says sorry i was reading the next line and but it's just describing how it's written all right okay so that's not good okay so no, it's not like i said i'm just gonna let us walk out of this room can we I bet you the could. Door again? Well, what? We belong to him now. Can we open the door? Yeah. All right. So can oh. we talk? Okay. So I'm going to talk to talk and say, can you guide us out of the room? If Rocco and I carry this out with our eyes closed. <laughs> okay. Well, it says everything you see is mine. If we can't see it, is it still his? Well, it's what he sees, not what we see. But yeah, I'd like to try to guide you, uh, blind says, bastards, out of here with that. Everything you see is mine. It says you see, not what he sees. It says everything you yeah. see is mine. Why do we want the? But yes, this I can like, guide you out. Yeah, this is like the ultimate treasure in the. Yeah. We're collecting right. things so we can sell them back and get I mean, lots of money. I, mean, I will I'm help you guide them out then. Best. I'm all thinking right. we could smash all the mirrors as well, but I think like let's plan D. Let's try it with their eyes oh, closed yeah, first, sure. and then we'll smash all the mirrors okay. after that. I like it. Lift your okay. legs. So Torkum, you're you're in the room and you have your eyes open. Oh. That's and also an uh, issue. you two have your eyes closed. Is that what we're doing? Yeah. Uh, that'll be a problem. Okay. So I will go and I will step here. Uh huh. With my eyes open. And okay. I will guide them towards me with the door open. Okay. Okay. And then as they get close, then I'll back. Up. So I want to try and guide them. I don't know. But I will try to guide them towards the open. Door. Okay. With their eyes closed, I don't know how they. I mean, you could, like, give them a rope oh, and then they'll break down their eyes the closed. Doors. I just shoot, like, little Eldritch Blasts, like, not, like, the full force ones. So Rockeye knows where to keep going as he's walking backwards with the statue. <laughs> okay, Ro so uh, Rocco's dead. Um, <laughs> little elf. No, he said little one. Uh huh. Uh, so you're just gonna try and guide him with your voice? Yeah. Okay. If and then what are you doing when they get to the doorway? Then as they get to the doorway and I tell them really good job, then I will follow the path. Like, super condescending, but then I will follow the path backwards <laughs> and back up as they can try and get them, so. Okay. Okay, so, doing this, you are able to get the, the, the Celestite Unicorn out of the room without it teleporting back, because no oh, one okay. saw it leave the room. Okay. Because I'm assuming Gilly's not looking either. No. <laughs> Jelly's just looking at the pathway. Uh-huh. <laughs> and then... <laughs> okay, so we've got... I didn't even know she was still in the room, honestly. I was messing with I her. Want, I want uh, uh, Tell and Rocco to give me three dexterity saves, though. Because you're carrying it like on this path and trying not to step off, and it's, it's a little difficult. Oh, good. Dexterity. I'm so good at those. Yeah. Three dex saves each. Mm. Okay, Rocco, Rocco, one more Rocco. Okay, so Rocco is fine. However, uh, uh, Tell, right as he's getting close to the door, he steps off the path. So I need a uh, a fear save. Uh, I believe that's a wisdom save, right, F for fear? The that's fear really spell. I think, I'm happy to roll that one. Yeah. Okay, and you are fine. You did not get feared. And you guys are able to make it out into the hallway with the the unicorn. Everybody's Yeah. Everybody's out in the hallway.
What do you want to do now? I mean, what are we doing with this thing? Do we have to take uh, it to the front? Is that what we were meant to do? Obviously, this is supposed to be the big treasure, so we need to get it It out. is. Well, as far but as you know, yeah. Let's put it in well, our inn. Rocco still wants that sword that was in that room he saw. I agree. Well, I don't want to just leave this thing somewhere, though. Front. Remember, we don't get to keep anything that's here. No. No, they he said he buys everything, everything back. He, he comes and buys it all. The back. only thing that we you know that that you know, absolutely can't keep is the unicorn. We could just tell him we don't want to sell him back. That's yeah. Good idea. <laughs> I mean, yeah. Let's let's let's, so like, let's say you're a very like, very high wizard. Yeah, that sounds like a great idea. Do that. I think that sounds like a fantastic idea. If this is supposed to be like the big prize, the one that's worth the most. I say we take it back to the front. Yeah. Well, are we are we the only people who get to explore this? It's one at a time, one party at a time. Yeah, as far as you know. <laughs> Pass it okay. the party the whole way. Yeah, well, I'm more worried about like we just move this unicorn to the front and then it appears. It's pretty rare that somebody gets invited to do this. It's like once every year or so. Yeah. That's good enough for me. Teleported back. Like if we leave it, this thing's gonna get teleported back in there or something like that. That's my. I think if we take it back to the What's the alternative? We carry it through the rest of the thing? And you're gonna jump on those platforms with the unicorn or <laughs> I guess the example we set it outside and set it, yeah. Let's just put it back by the ledger. We're the ones that are in here. I think we're alright. We'll put a blanket over top of it. Yeah, I mean carrying it around this whole thing it's not that's not feasible. Yeah. Don't have a whole lot of choice. Alright, let's do it. Alright, so we carry it back to the entrance. Okay. So you're gonna carry it back to like where the sign in book is and just leave it there? Yeah. Okay. Like, but like yeah. by the mural. Maybe. Okay. Yeah. That'll be our pile of treasure. Okay. Thing. You can do that. Oh, I think Marinian wanted to examine that door. It is not locked. Yep. What is that? So when you open it, you see rows of works, workbenches that line the room, each covered in the detritus of experiments long finished. Scorch marks dot the, the scene, and the stench of fire and acid assail the senses. Beakers, vials, and buckets of unidentifiable, unidentifiable arcane goo can be seen around the, the room, too. Hey, Gilly, this looks like your kind of place. Gilly. Ah, hold on, hold on. Oh, oh. Vials of weird stuff in here. Yeah, and vials of weird bur stuff. Burning smells. What the heck? So let me know. Are you being like careful to avoid touching anything? Are you yes. examining yeah, things being... with your hands? What are you doing? Uh, I am right now. I'm just looking. Okay. To see if I can see what I can see. I'm not touching crap yet. You can see what I described. Okay. Um, for some reason, I can't see the rest of the room. I can only see, like, a handful of tables when I come in. Mm. Did you take off... Did you change something about your, like, your dark vision? On the front of your sheet or something? No. Uh, do you have dark vision? I do not have dark vision. Oh. In this. Yeah, well, then it's because the room is really dark and there's a candle. Oh, okay, got you, got you. Okay. <laughs> I, can I, make, I can't. Yeah. yeah. Tell is running uh, around the room really quickly. I'm I'm worried that he's gonna bump into something. The the papers on the desk with the candle. Is there anything like written out that I can read? No. If it, most of the papers are pretty well scorched. Would you Would you like to be able to see in the dark? Eh. Yeah. That 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 may help. <laughs> I notice you're going to squint, so I'm going to give you give you my eyes of night. Did you do that already? Uh, there we go. Well, I don't think I can do it, do it, but yeah. Oh, you don't have an effect for it? I thought you did. I don't think I do. No, not for eyes of night. It's just the um, 
like just the click. That's it. There's, there you I go. Don't have something. Hmm. I, I have my. I just put the goggles on since he gave me eyes of night. Oh okay. Just, I could have sworn in the first yeah. session you had an effect, but maybe not. I, I have. Uh, that, that I don't know. Sorry. Yeah, that'll work. So um, once you do, go ahead and give me an investigation because now you can see the whole room. Okay. Um, so over in the, the corner where uh, Rocco is, you see a beaker that appears to be filled with uh, possibly one or two healing potions. So it's, it's enough liquid that you think it might be as many as two. As many as two. Uh, I'll get. I'll grab. Okay. So they are in one bottle, but it is two healing potions. Nice. So you're gonna have to find another bottle to pour it into. Okay. And he just drink half. I suppose if he knows how to drink exactly half. I, I would. I would probably. Still can have a can, the can you drink exactly yeah. half of your drink? No, it just goes straight to empty every. <laughs> Several times during the course of this game. I can't wait till we get to some of the puzzles that are in my Dungeon of the Mad Mage stuff. <laughs> you guys are just going to be like, yeah, we can't do it, and then leave. Just smash it. <laughs> it's like That's what we've been doing is, oh, that room's hard. No, we'll go to the next room. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> there can't possibly be anything good in there. Right. I said I, I'd probably still have an empty glass vial from the potion I had earlier. Yeah, that'll work. Okay, then I will do that. I will give you fill your potion bottle back up. Okay, so there's one door you haven't looked in so far. Uh -huh. Okay. And then you never went upstairs. Well, I'm hoping that this is the room with the... Uh, I'm going to check this door. You and know, you never, usual. and you guys never checked out what was beyond the two hallways that you didn't like. Yeah, we still, we still electricity hallway and the spike trap hallway. Oh right. You yeah. guys just were like, nope. <laughs> yeah, that shit looks dangerous. Okay, so that door is not locked. Hey, look at that. Uh, again, the walls of the chamber are lined with red clay bricks. There are seven circular metal platforms, each six feet in diameter. And they hang from iron chains attached to the ceiling. The floor is about 20 feet below, uh, but you really can't see it very well because it's hidden beneath a blanket of thick smoke. That, once again, smells like smoke. Because somebody Not asked. Not fire. Not f Does That's fire not have a smell? Uh, I don't know. Apparently it smells like Depends smoke. on the it's chemical that's burning, right? I learned right? that earlier tonight. Yeah, so I did, too. Burning has the smell. I mean, right, Rocco, it really jump. just depends on what's being consumed by the fire, I think. Pretty All much. Right. I would imagine. I will... Smoke has a smell, though. Yes, I know well the smell of smoke. Alright, guys. I'm going to jump onto the first platform. Okay. Um, wait, it's no. not a hard jump. <laughs> Give me an athletics check, though, because it is, I mean, you got to do it. I gave yourself a chance to roll a one. That's right. All right. Go, Rocco, go. One second. I got to roll something before you make the next jump. Oops. A gigantic red okay. Shot comes up and Nothing happens. Yeah. All right, I'll try the next one. He's going to jump the shark. Boom. Give me another athletics check. Yeah, you made it. Nothing happened. Okay. And one, two, three, go. To the next one. Athletics check. And athletics. Is there any writing on the door around this? He doesn't see any. Into this room? No. No, we don't see any. 
Uh, nothing happened when you jumped to that one. Okay. One, two, three, go. And oops. He's halfway there. Nope, nothing happened. Okay. One second here. When you jump onto that one, the 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 uh, platform wobbles a little bit, and something flies up out of the smoke and attacks you. Jeez. Oh, so I guess uh, I want uh, a uh, initiative from it's everybody. Attacking you. Initiative? Yeah. Even, those, all of even though uh, most of you are out in the hall and can't do anything, I'll just say, say from everyone, just to make things easier. So how sturdy are these platforms? Do they swing a lot, like when I'm on it? Or do they stay in place pretty well? Let's see. So anyone fighting from a disc has disadvantage on all attacks. And if you make uh if you take any damage, you have to make a DC six dexterity saver fall off. Six? A six, yeah. DC six. You got this. Okay. What? So it appears uh that Rocco is going first. Since Arrow always goes after, uh, yeah. she Gilly. should be on my initiative. Yeah. What is your initiative? Ten. Okay. Change her. There we go. Okay, Rocco, what are you doing? Uh, I'll attack it. Okay. So does it automatically give me disadvantage? Do I need to click it? No, you'll have to click disadvantage. Or just hold Alt when you drop the dice on him. Okay. Nice. Hit hit. Cool. Okay. Are you jumping to the next platform or are you just staying there? Um no, I'm gonna stay there for now until okay. this thing is taken care of. I don't wanna like get attacked because I don't. Okay. Uh, well, Gilly and Errol, what are you guys doing? Yep. Um, do would Gilly know that oh, he's dang. being attacked in there? Uh, sure. Okay. <laughs> and Gilly, I'm making sure. Come up here and shoot, fire her pistol. I don't... Oh, never mind. That hits. Yay. Nice. Yay. I love halfling luck. That's funny, yeah. It worked. All right. Hits it, and then I would have Errol. Uh, I think that's 30 right about there. Okay. Have Errol attack as well. Yeah, I didn't lock the tokens because okay. I didn't think this would last that long. And she will attack as well. She hits. Okay. Go ahead and end your turn and yep. end her turn. Yep. Okay, Taryn. I can't. I mean, it's pretty crowded there, and I'm not gonna like run past and jump on a okay. disc. So I'll just let the I'll let them play. Okay. Meridian, standing in the door. Uh, I'm gonna shoot my bow. Okay. And sing. And it misses. Misses, of Your course. Inspiration. Uh, sure. Why not? Okay. Can't take it with inspiration. <laughs> Can't take it with me. All right. So try again. That 
That hits. Oh, it gets sneak attack damage too. Yep. Okay. So the smoke method poofs. Dissipates. It does. Good. Okay, so. Back in the smoke. What are you doing, Rocco? Are you going to continue on? Go get it, Rocco. I'll do it. Okay. Two and three. Uh-oh. Uh, Rocco falls. Oh, no. To the floor. Into the smoke. Damn it, Rocco. <laughs> Into the smoke, but not the fire. Uh, yeah. All right. Let's Let's see. So, right you take... Hold on. Seven points of falling damage. No. And you are now Don't twenty. Die. You are now twenty feet below. Do I need to put the damage on? Yes, please. What do you want to do, Rocco? You should be able to change it on the character sheet. You probably won't be able to change it in the tracker. Is there like a ladder on our side to get out of the kiddie pool or no? No. No ladders. Okay. Yeah. So basically... Man there, Rocco. I'll get out of the is way. This, is the smoke pretty thick? Like how far in front of me can I see? Uh, so the smoke is actually like above your head. Oh, okay. So you can see fine down where you are. Although you can't right. see, you know, up above you very well. Yeah. All the That's sound of our voice. As far as Don't go into do the see, light. Do I see any more of those, you know, smoke methods or any other creatures? Mm mm. Alright. I am going to yell out. Rocco, come, come back towards the door, I suppose. So you do see where the smoke is coming from, though, now that you're down there on the ground. There appear to be several very large pots where the smoke is billowing out of them. Where are those pots? On the ground. Scattered around. There's like four of them. They're larger than you are, you though. Alright. You want me to come out to you and lower right there? Uh, They're probably full of rupees. Break yeah. <laughs> Get in there. Face first. Uh, I can get, I think, this far on my movement. Uh, we're not in combat anymore, so you can move as far as you oh, want. Okay. Yeah. But I'll, uh, we're just watching you fumble around. Uh, Tell, did you jump out platform. to the first platform? Yeah, well, he was like, oh, I don't want to come back. Like, okay. Oh, Give me an athletics so, check. I hope I can see. So I'm I can coming see. back. Um, Waiting for them to do something, but I'm also staying alert in case one of those other okay. methods come back out and I'll be ready to attack. I think you're the only one who can make these jump. Well, I'm tell me the lie. first one. Oh, I know, but don't they get worse? I thought the last one was further away. Uh uh. They're all about five feet. Oh, okay. I believe in you then. I'm gonna go back to the end and I'll uh, try and pull you up there so you can see it or something. Rather than having to do it all again. So you better jump all the way across the. I suppose. I can try and bring you up here, but I don't think two of us can sit on the. Nah, they'd hold you. I mean, if you feel confident, you can make it. I guess go for it. I'll just kind of walk along the bottom. Okay, give me an athletics check. Okay, so you made the jump. However, uh, the platform is wobbling and making noise, and uh, uh, another smoke method comes flying up out of the smoke and is attacking you. Roll initiative. 
Sure. Mm -hmm. Or we can just use the existing initiative. It's up to you. Rocco probably can't see anything. Okay. Looks like Marinian's going first. Can I drop an arrow into this thing? Sure. It hit. It. Uh, it should have given you sneak attack though. Should it? Yeah. So go ahead and just use the manual one. No, not not that one. The one that adds the d6 of damage. Oh. Yeah. Okay. Go ahead and end your turn. Taryn, are you going to shoot All at right. it? Yeah, I'm, I'm sure that fire is really effective against smoke creatures, but it's what I got. Yep. Yep. Oh, when he does it, nobody can fight him. Okay, uh, tell. You have disadvantage to attack. Is that with even the told the dead because it's a save? Uh, no, it's a save, so it wouldn't affect it. He failed to save. Ooh, max damage. This one's a lot tougher than the last one. It is. That's not a good sign. Okay, so... Uh, f first he's gonna exhale his cinder breath on Tell. And Tell makes the save. He's not blinded. And then he's going to try and hit Tell with his claws. And misses. Torque him. Uh, I guess I'll blast it. Okay. Ooh. Ooh. Uh, so that's a, that's a uh, inspiration, isn't it? Yes. Yep. And it's dead. Do I get to carry that over? No. No, we gotta use it real fast. Gotta use it now. Okay. Like the I next attack turn. someone else on this turn. <laughs> <laughs> you an, tell. An, er an arrow way. gets blasted out of the sky. Okay. Uh, so tell, what are you doing? I'm gonna kick down. Okay. Uh, athletics. Oh, like okay, hold on a second. Yeah, Tell fell. <laughs> really? Yeah. <laughs> you took four points of falling damage. There's no two of you down there. I don't know how we get you guys out of there. We haul them with a rope. Can see. A rope, maybe, I'm I guess? I'm yeah, that's what I'm thinking. Our strong is. people are in yeah. the tell Is there like a ladder or something? The There's no the ladder, but you think you could climb the walls. I'll I'll get a rope down and say, "All right, guys, grab hold." Oh, I know Rocco's it's heavy. Twenty feet up. Could you, could you give me like a boost throw? So the thing. Yeah, boost one of them out of here. I don't know how we're gonna haul the robot in. My weight's only like two hundred pounds. I'm not. Oh, so. He's made out of titanium. Yeah. Aluminum. And then we climb up the wall, right. not near the platform. Alright, so. You said you think I can climb the wall? Yeah. 
They're brick walls, so there's like gaps in the mortar and stuff. Alright, so I'm gonna... This from here. I'll try to climb up. Okay. To above the smoke. Give me an athletics check. Okay, yeah, you can easily climb up above the smoke. You're now, like, directly across from the platform with the the floating, or the, the hanging sword. Is there enough grip on this wall I could attempt to jump from here onto that platform? Sure. So you guys watch as Rocco like pushes off, but he forgets to let go and just ends up falling. He, he rolled another one. <laughs> Unless you want to, do you have inspiration? No, you don't. Okay, so Rocco takes two d six more falling damage. There goes eleven Ooh. points. I think Rocco may have just knocked himself unconscious. Oh jeez. From the fall. Yeah, yeah, that's exactly how many yeah, hit exactly. points. I was about to use my uh, second win to give myself a few points, but I guess not now. Not now. Okay, so tell uh, 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 an unconscious tell, tell, an unconscious tell, tell, tell. robot falls down at your feet. <laughs> I'm gonna, of course, I'm gonna throw a cue of wounds on him so he gets up again. Okay. <laughs> oh, terrible. Oh, <laughs> And I, I think this is the perfect point to stop. <laughs> I'll go ahead and... I'm, I'm just going to climb the roll and give it a go. <laughs> Why don't we just lower the ropes well, down? You, you can do that next week. This is just too funny. This is the best place to stop. <laughs> All right. Uh, thanks, thanks. We're out of time <laughs> anyway. Really good something job, guys. Yeah. yeah. I think thank our you. plan needs to be to knock the sword off. Maybe we need to throw something to try to knock it off.